Okay. Portable AC running on ice water. Almost no ice left at this point. We need to ice that up. We just put it in there, so we got to get everything in it and cold like supposed to be. All right, air conditioner. All right. Now, granted, this air conditioner has seen probably better days. It does cool, but it's so hot. I mean, we're talking 95 degrees outside at night right now. It's very, very hot. It's early July. It's killer here in Southeast. All right, so uh, for reference, ceiling temps are running just off there around 80. So fans have been running for a few hours. The air's pretty, pretty consistent in the shop. I mean, we're getting, we're getting 81 on the floor. 81 on the walls, 81 on the ceiling. Air intake over here has come off that coal around 70, low 70. Coming out up here, I mean, low 70 ish. This fan, air temps, they're, they're in the 80s. I mean, that's the air it's pushing around. Okay, AC. And it's just ice water now and of course the ice is melting so we're going to lose some cooling capacity but the idea is air's coming in here from around the shop we're reading upper 70s coming in again close to 80 on the ground so coming out we're pushing you know mid 60s <laughs> i mean it's better than the ac can do right now i mean I'm impressed. This is all just rigged up stuff that we had laying around. <laughs> it's a fan off of a FZR 600. Um, these radiators came off of a Suzuki RM125. The pump, it's the only thing I bought. It's a bilge pump from Walmart. Uh, I saw it online. I saw it online. Someone else had built something similar and that's what they use and it worked. It's working for us. Everything else has been laying around. The, the, the battery I just charged up out of my lawnmower. Uh, using it for a power supply right now. Uh, the relay I had laying around. Five pin relay and just a little LED lit up switch. Turns both things off via relay. That's it.